guys, Ian Mayer Marzellic here, Senior National Trainer for Schwarzkopf Professional USA. In this Agora Vibrant series of videos, we're hoping to help you learn everything that you'll need to know to be able to utilize Agora Vibrance behind the chair every day. In this particular video, we're gonna be talking all things toning. You've lifted your client to that beautiful, clean, pale yellow blonde, and now you have to decide, what am I gonna tone her with? So in this segment, we're gonna go through all the things that you can utilize within Agora Vibrance to get the best blondes possible. In this section, we're gonna be talking about pastels. You can see that our pastels are 9.5 dash. Very simple, the 9.5 that comes before the dash simply means that you're using a pastel. These are shades that you're gonna to wanna to use on your perfectly lifted pale yellow level 10 blondes to get whatever tone value you want. These are mixed equal parts with either a six volume activator or a 13 volume activator. And they'll last you about 12 shampoos depending on the porosity of your client. All right, Jamie is done developing. We're going to pull her foils. All right, we rinse out our Gore Vibrant Flow Light. I'm very excited about this. Yeah. And for those of you who might be a little bit new to low lighting with Demi Permanent Color, <laughs> I just want to point something out that blonde hair when it's wet is terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Because if you can see here, like you've got this really light ultra blonde, and when this low light is wet, it looks kind of scary. I promise you. <laughs> I rarely use this, but I promise you. Once you get this hair dry, it is not gonna look nearly as deep and scary as it does in the bowl. So we're gonna shampoo with our Fiber Clinics Vibrancy range. Uh, this is a range that's really great for color-treated hair. Just a few pumps, work it through. You usually always wanna uh, shampoo after using an alkaline color, and Gora Vibrance is an alkaline uh, that uses MEA. However, if you remember, it's 40% less than our previous assortment. So you just do a, a good shampoo. So we've rinsed the shampoo. What I'm going to do now is something that I would normally do in salon. I towel dry my client. And we've already discussed that we're going to do a standalone shine service so that Jamie can leave the salon not with just her low lights looking super awesome and healthy, um, but that her whole hair looks shiny and healthy. So this is our Agora Vibrance Clear. We talked about this in a previous video that you can use this to dilute a shade intensity to basically create anything you want. Fun fact, this is our clear shine service, standalone shine service. The fun fact is that you don't need to mix this with any activator whatsoever. And that's nice because I can literally just take this straight out of the bottle and go right onto my client's hair. So use as much as you need. Work that through. We'll let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, we'll come back, we'll rinse that out, and then we're gonna do our Fiber Clinics Vibrancy post-color treatment. All right, we have just rinsed our clear standalone shine service from Agora Vibrance. Remember, just use the clear on its own, straight out of the bottle, no activator needed. To really pamper Jamie today though, and make sure that those low lights stay, because we know that those can fade when, it, when, when you do a low light on very bleached hair, sometimes they can fade quicker than normal. So we wanna make sure that we're giving Jamie the best longevity with her low lights. So we're going to do a Fiber Clinics Vibrancy post-color treatment. Here is our Fiber Clinics uh, Tri-Bond treatment. It's actually quite simple. You have a treatment and there's different boosters that you use to enhance the base treatment. Today what we're gonna do is the 25 grams of the Fiber Clinics Tri-Bond treatment and then specifically a Vibrancy post-color treatment would be five pumps of your Vibrancy Booster. Went ahead and measured out 25 grams of the Tribon treatment in this bowl. 
You do 25 grams because you can mix five grams of whatever booster you'd like. Vibrancy, Fortify for damage, Volumize for, for uh, volume. Packaging is very cute. You just twist the top like this. And I already have my 25 grams of my Tribon treatment in the bowl. So I'm gonna equal all of that out to 30 grams. One, two, three, four, five. So it works out that one pump is one gram. So we have 30 grams here, and then you just mix all that together. If you really wanna add value to the service, you would take your client back to the chair and mix this in front of them so that they can uh, physically see that this is a customized treatment strictly for them. Uh, but today we are going to apply this right at the bowl. You put some in my hands and work it through. So rather than doing this with a bowl and brush at the chair, I get to massage it into Jamie's hair. We'll let this sit in 15 minutes and then we'll rinse and then we'll show you what Jamie's after look is once we give her a really good blowout and make sure she's all spiced up for her final reveal. Okay, you can see here that we toned down Jamie's Blonde utilizing the Agora Vibrance 9.5-5 Pastel Gold. And we also paired that up with our 8-46 Level 8 Beige Chocolate. Don't forget, Jamie did have very, very, very light ends. So we're getting a little bit of reflection here. Um, but we toned down her blonde and then in combination with the low lights that we did, um, I think it's just a dramatic improvement from such dark regrowth to such light pre-bleached ends. Are you happy with it? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna let her crush on herself for a little bit so she can uh, enjoy her new hair color. Um, but that's that, thank you. We've talked about how to utilize a pastel on these perfectly beautiful pale tan lifted blondes, but did you know that you can also utilize the 9.5 series or the pastel series to dilute the tone intensity of any shade you want within Igora Vibrance? For example, if you're looking to dilute a 6-99 level 6 violet violet, and your first thought is, let me dilute that with clear. With clear, you're going to lose a little tone intensity. However, how can I dilute that level 6 intense violet but support the tone value? Simply dilute your 6-99 with 9.5-1. And remember, 9.5 that comes before the dash means that it's pastel. And if you remember our numbering system from our first video, dash one is Sandre, which is the blue violet tone direction. So you can dilute your level six violet violet with 9.5 dash one and support the tone quality of the cool tone that you've got. So pastels are utilized in a couple different ways and they're super helpful for your everyday formulation behind the chair. You might be asking yourself, what's the difference between a nine dash and a 9.5 dash? Again, 9.5 in Schwarzkopf Professional simply means that you're working with a pastel shade. A level nine shade is actually a shade that is at a level nine. So pastels are going to be lighter in tone intensity and really ideal for clients that have been lifted to that perfect level 10 pale yellow blonde. Now in this visual, you'll see that we have 9.5-1. Again, it's like one of our best sellers. It's the number one skew in toning in Agora Vibrance, and everybody loves it for like that super platinum icy blonde. Don't forget though, if you've lifted a client to a level eight or a nine, 9.5s are pastel. They're ideal for that perfectly lifted, pale, ultra pale yellow level 10 blonde, meaning, I can't use a 9.5-1 on something that is deeper because there's not enough tone quality. 9.5s are pastels and they're really ideal for that ultra pale yellow level 10 blonde. So you love 9.5-1, so do we. But let's say you wished you had a little bit more tone intensity from it. This is the perfect opportunity for you to mix in our neutralizing booster, probably 0-1-1, to intensify the warmth cancellation or the blue-violet tone quality that you get from 9.5-1. Now with that being said, don't forget, whenever you add cool tones to an Agora Vibrance formula, no matter the level, but especially when you're working with 9.5 pastel series, the more, cool co uh, the more cool colors you add, the deeper your end result will be. Don't forget, cool colors absorb light.
You might be asking yourself, why are there three different activators in Agora Vibrance? We've got the six volume gel activator, we have a six volume lotion activator, and we have a 13 volume lotion activator. Really, at the end of the day, it's about consistency and working preference. You'll likely use our gel activator in the bottle application that we showed in, the, in a previous video. But for bowl and brush and precision application, you're likely going to utilize the six volume lotion or the 13 volume lotion. However, at the end of the day, there's no difference in the finish of the hair with the two different activators. It's simply a matter of preference and consistency. There's a few ways that we can pre-tone a client. If your client's pretty light, you might be able to get away pre-toning with like a violet shampoo. For example, BC Bonicure Silver Shampoo. However, if you need a pre-tone that's just a little bit more, Agora Vibrance 9.5-1 is the most beautiful pastel cendre blue violet tone to pre-tone before you go ahead with your fashion colors. For example, Chroma IDs blue, violet, or what have you. It gives you a nice, clean, even platinum base that you can then go ahead and put direct eyes on. Here's a fun toning technique that you can use. We've called it tonal layering. If you're going to be doing a shadow root, but you're scared that that shadow root might be a little too deep, go ahead and apply your lightest toner from root to tip all the way through, and then go back in with your shadow root and layer over top of your lightest toner. This way, your lightest toner is gonna dilute the depth of your shadow root and also add for more seamless blending. Thanks for watching this video on toning tips. Stay tuned for more insights, tips, and tricks on Agora Vibrance in the coming video.